Y'all know what I think about it. Coward. Good. Duck, pilgrim. Like and subscribe. Round that. Get the Texas out of here. So, how was it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. Ah, it is Wednesday. I did not expect to be posting today, but I'm going to. Probably make it real fast, too. Doctor appointment, doctor appointment, doctor appointment. Well, right now for my mom and her one eye surgery thing went well and now we're gonna check up on it and then the next week me eee, toastmasters just got finished i wasn't gonna it, it, anyways i didn't go well i went i did go i wasn't going to but i did <laughs> is the coffee kicking in copay hawaiian for coffee now the obvious news for the day i have to run in a bit the obvious news for today is the tragedy in Texas. That's why it's deemed the tragedy in Texas. It's basically another mass shooting by some lone nutcase with an automatic AK-47, AR-15, whatever. These are auto. These are weapons for military in combat, and they should not be on the street. They should not be in your hunting catalog. If you're gonna shoot Bambi. Give Bambi a chance and try to aim with one little BB. Pew pew. These things with the they gotta go. They gotta go. We have this machismo thing going on in the USA and it's connecting right up to the National Rifle Association, which is making so much money selling and promoting these giant weapons of war for the average civilian. And they're just too accessible for a teenage nutcase to go and grab it. Not all teenagers are nutcases, I gotta say. You know, I was in the teaching realm, you know, once a teacher, always a teacher, but mostly once a Boy Scout, always a Boy Scout. In the teenage years, there's this philosophical question which they think the person is internally asking themselves. Who am I? Who am I? Personally, I found that question to be one of a more collegiate question that I faced in college because of the drunken beer parties and getting stoned earlier on in my college career. Not anymore, though. <laughs> but those drinking parties can make you go. When it was all beer, ugh, but then it goes hard liquor, there's your red flag. Oh, when your chug-a-lug by the darts goes hard liquor, there's your red flag. Who am I as I wake up from bed spins? But in the teenage years, it happens naturally. They ask, who am I? And when that question is asked, they're basically in the in-between with a bunch of hormones going. They don't want to be the children that they once were. Ew, children, don't call me a baby. I'm an adult now. On the other hand, they look at adults like, ew, you foggy old adult. I don't want to be you, you're old, old. And, and that's where that, that's why I think that race, I mean, not race, but the age bias thing, still, you gotta get rid of that age bias thing. But when, not you, but in general, everybody, but when this, ew, you adults and the teenage rebellion against adults, they're trying to still find out who they fit in as, as an adult. And that's where this guy, I think, got caught. It's not so much, well, it is the guns being available, but it's not the guns and the bullets, but you look at the victims were elementary school children. It's like 19 of them. God, how can you? I mean, I know kids like, yeah, come on, go. And then there's loud and they're all, but that's insane. And the how this guy got to his spot 
is our big mental health month award because we don't want people to go that way. That's why we study World War II and Nazi Germany and Adolf Hitler and there's libraries and libraries and libraries of the stuff because the age old adage, if history is unlearned, like it, re it will repeat itself or find some derivation thereof to rhyme with itself. History repeats itself. That's why people learn history. A lot of it is that. They don't want the mistakes to be done again on the worldwide scale, Putin, and on the small scale, freaking nutcase, shooter, coup case guy. You know, and to understand the person is not to elevate the person, but to understand mental health. Now, not all mental health is wacko shooter. A lot of mental health is depression, feeling bad. You want to feel good about yourself. In a sense, if you're not feeling good about yourself, you're not happy who you are, in a sense, you suffer from a little bit of mental illness. Your mind isn't the best it can be. It's not in the well category. And then some people just boop, 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 are just a-holes. And then I think that's a little greater mental health. But then it just goes down and down. And then some people are just greedy pig dogs for the rest of their lives. And they're just envious, adulterous freak shows. And that brings me to, that brings me to the population of Texas. There's so many people in Texas that are greed, adulterous, nasty, backstabbing, two-faced. Now here's the interesting thing about this population of Texas, which is a large population of Texas population of Texas is really large and then there's the Texas people that grew up in Texas and then there's the people that migrated to Texas for the money and that's the people who call themselves Texans that aren't really Texans as a matter of fact a little history a long time ago Davy Crockett who was like the frontiers man he was outdoors guy now he was used to the outdoors and chopping up and all cabin and cutting his own raccoon for a hat but what he wasn't so prepared for was the politics and yes Daniel Boone Davy Crockett one of them two <laughs> Davy I think it was Davy Crockett Davy Crockett he went to into politics and so he's into politics more on the east coast because the west wasn't you know and so he's in the politics and he's in this committee thing and they're all arguing, trying to agree. And he didn't agree with what they came up with. And he told them famously, you can all go to hell. I'm going to Texas. It's a famous Davy Crockett quote. You can all go to hell. I'm going to Texas. Now, makes it Texas sound like a good place. You can all go to hell. I'm going to Texas. We're a... But Texas at the time was very wilderness it wasn't populated with the people there and it was under this battlement with ownership in mexico and all that you know Al uh, alamo that's what it's called <laughs> chapel in san antonio which is where the shooting happened and so nowadays texas is the reverse Texas is the place that Davy Crockett would say, you can all go to Texas. I'm getting out of here. Because when he said, I'm going to Texas, he said, I'm getting out of this mess. And now Texas has become that mess. And hopefully there's a lot of good people there. I mean, don't discount me wrong as blanket wipeout, but there's a lot of nasty, nasty. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, and so it's nice, and, and so and so there's my explanation, and uh, I don't know what to say about this. It's again, so hopefully something comes from this that's not going to be so. But you know, God, this makes me so stressed out. Let's see what's back in the day. Back in the day when things were nice in 1958. Look, you just go to Mama's uh, card party, and everyone's wearing white boo moos and going, "Did you read your Bible yet today, you freak?" Oh, I bet. Don't touch yourself. Don't play. Oh, no, wait. This is McInerney staff members supporting the ident identical tutu moo moo. Tutu moo moo. So, so for the tutu. Oh, tutu. Tutu. It's for all the tutus. They got the same moo moo. All right. That's nice. And that's all we have for today. Because. <clears throat>
because I don't know. I don't get much time and shoot. It's just a sad thing when our country has nutcases that emerge to shoot and kill children. And then there's the living children that are going to be for the rest of their life. I remember the day. Oh, man. So the idea is not revenge, but mental health and keep it keeping that in proportion to what it is. Because there's average mental health issues, you know, and people should take care of themselves. And the brain is some type of weird muscle inside the bone called the head. <clears throat> bone head. And it should be taken care of. So eat well and all that kind of good stuff. And don't worry, be happy. <laughs> so there's something about, you know, being happy. I, 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 I got the Dallas Cowboy thing going on. Anyways, that's all. So bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye, bye. Have a good day. The sun's coming out. Oh, the sky's all green. Why? Oh, because the sun is rising. Oh, why are you talking to yourself? I don't know. Aloha to you. Okay, aloha to you too. Bye. Aloha. Fresh aloha.